Hey, Paranoia, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums, and today I'm going to be doing an album review on the new No Buses album, Sweet Home. So, uh, No Buses is a rock band from Tokyo, Japan, and is their latest album, Sweet Home. So, uh, yes, the last album review I did, I reviewed, uh, I reviewed the new 1OK Rock album, which is also a rock band from Japan. So, uh, two album reviews in a row where I review a rock band from Japan. And a lot of people are a little bit disappointed with my 1OK Rock album review because there are a lot of 1OK Rock fans out there. Um, but um, I hope you're going to be satisfied with this one because this album is pretty good. So um, you may be wondering how did I come across this band. I think a while ago, I think a year ago, um, actually three years ago, they released their music video for Pretty Old Man, which is a single that they released. And it's this awkward dance music video, and it's just really funny, and it's got a lot of views, and naturally stuff like this is recommended to me. I watched it, and I got into this band. And uh, lo and behold, they have released a new album. So, um... Yeah, this album is surprisingly good because even though it's not nothing all that groundbreaking, but <clears throat> I I do think that as far as indie rock and, and post-punk goes, this album kinda slaps. The album opener in peace is a really emotional indie rock track that radiates a very strong, heavy Midwest emo energy. Um, one thing that this band does, not only on this track, but also the rest of the album, is that they have drums but also with a sequenced beat on top. So now it sounds like there are two drums. And that's pretty much what's happening here. So we got very tight drumming percussion and we get these Radiohead-ish guitars that are kind of forlorn. And then we get the vocals that are very mumbly and usually I don't like mumbly vocals, but the mumbly vocals on this track makes this track sound a lot more emotionally vulnerable, which is really nice. And then we have the next track, Sun Beetle, which is a moody piece of minimalist post-punk with tight beats, gloomy guitars, and I also like how the vocals get louder and angrier towards the end of the track. And uh, overall, it's just, um, yeah, I love post-punk, what can I say? Then we have the track Rubbish, which is a lonesome J-rock track that sounds really youthful and lively, and I think that's partially because of the, um, <clears throat> the laid-back vocals which is really nice. And so we have a very solid um, first three tracks and we move on to a bit of a low point in the album with Stop Stop Stop, which is a um, pretty quiet track with a sequence beat and some numb guitars. And um, yeah, this is definitely a lot more forgettable of a track than um, other tracks on the album. Um, and that is followed with Biomega 2, which is an interlude with a spacey part and then some strummed guitars with some glitch effects. And the interlude progressively gets rockier and rockier as it goes along. So, um, yeah, pretty nice interlude. Then we have the track Daydream Believer featuring uh, B.I.M., which is someone that I've never really heard of before. Apparently, uh, he is a rapper. And uh, yeah, so what happened on this track is that essentially No Buses mixed J-Rap with Indie Rock. And with a combination like this, the track either becomes absolutely horrible or kind of great. And in this case, this track is not bad. I think, uh, yeah, it is a weird combination, but it also somehow worked. I think the Rap performances are really zany and they're layered in a way it's just very kooky and, and loud and rough but then we have the very tight drums and and the forlorn guitars uh, in the rock section which sounds really rock. So this, this track is really equal parts rock and rap and it somehow blended itself together so uh, that's pretty interesting. We have to track Freezen with the glitchy and delay effects that sort of continue on from the last track and the interlude. And yeah, this track is kind of lukewarm. It's kind of quiet. We get the very sweet but soft guitars, which is pretty nice. But again, not that special of a track, not that groundbreaking. So let's move on to the track Home, which is a straightforward indie rock song that is very dejected and moody, yet noisy and moving. The guitars are sour as well which I really like. Uh, again, Radiohead-ish guitars. 
and uh, you know Radiohead's my favorite band so I like guitars like that and then the album ends off with I'm With You which is a pretty basic ending with a 4-4 drum beat some sad melodies on top it's not a bad ending but I would say that it's nothing all that special or anything so um yeah overall that is the album I think this is a really solid rock album and um yeah, I wish we could hear more from them because this album is only 26 minutes long. I'm giving this new No Buses album, Sweet Home, a light 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the new No Buses album for Monday to Number Straight? Like, like, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.